mtazamaji ni Ijumaa nyingine njema ambapo tunakutana tena kwa taarifa uzipendazo za dira ya wiki. Nikitumai wiki yako imekuwa njema basi ikiwa ni awamu ya kwanza ya kinyang'anyiro cha uh, mwaka 2017 unajua kwa waida huwa tunadadisi matukio ya siasa humo nchini kwa matayarisho ya uchaguzi mkuu. Na zikiwa zimesalia siku kumi kabla ya wewe kuingia debeni leo basi tumeamua tutakupeleka hatua baada ya nyingine kuhusiana na kile kinachohitajika kutoka kwako siku ya uchaguzi. Je, unafahamu ni nini ambacho unatarajiwa kufanya siku ambayo utafika kwenye kituo cha kura nini ambacho unahitajika kubeba nini ambacho unastahili kufanya unastahili kujiepusha na nini tutakuwa tukijifunza haya na mengine mengi katika sehemu yetu ya kinyang'anyiro cha mwaka 2017 na tunatoa nafasi kwako kuuliza maswali yote ambayo uko nayo kuhusiana na uchaguzi mkuu je una wasiwasi wowote kuambatana na matayarisho ya uchaguzi wewe mwenyewe uko tayari kwa uchaguzi tuelekezee maswali yako kupitia nambari 2155 kwenye mtandao wa Twitter ni @zubaida kananu au @ktnews ukitumia hashtag dira ya wiki je una swali lolote kwa IBC una swali lolote kwa IBC tuelekeze maswali hayo na watakuwa wakiafafanua hapa studio ni lakini kwanza tuanze kwa kuangazia vidokezo The advice of course will be able to alert us that's barring the said person from voting twice Tumeuri ya uchaguzi nchini asisitiza kuwa mikakati imewekwa ya kusimamia uchaguzi mkuu na kukanusha mipango ya wizi wa kura Raila Odinga endeleza madai yake kuwa IEBC inapanga wizi wa kura kupitia vyombo vya usalama Na katika darubini ya siasa, tunangazia shuguli za upiga jikura inayosubiriwa kwa hamu na gamu. Karibu mtazamaji jina langu ni Zubaida Kome. Kiongozi wa NASA Raila Odinga ameshikilia madai kwamba ipo njama ya chama cha Jubilee kuiba kura kwenye uchaguzi kwa ushirikiano na maafisa wa usalama. Akizungumza kwenye vyombo vya habari Raila amesisitiza kwamba NASA hawataelekea kwenye uchaguzi ambao matokeo yake tayari yanajulikana. NASA wameitaka tumia uchaguzi na mipaka IBC kutoa hakikisho kwamba kura itakuwa ya huru na ya haki. Follows uh, a meeting that took uh, in state house and there is correspondence to that effect the following the cdf notice of meeting with the state house and state house representative and subsequent meeting with sunray as a code name the undersigned has been directed to inform you to coordinate the following key activities a make available on standby for the period between 3rd and 16th July, 36 officers of ranks of major or captain and considering infantry composition of uh, these officers. So this letter goes on to, to give a lot of details of what is subsequent to the meeting that took place in State House. So this is something that has been sanctioned at the very top because this is coming from the CDF himself giving instructions now to junior officers to do what we are talking about. So this is no longer just hearsay, but this is letter is signed on his behalf by Mr. R. D. Moye, Lieutenant Colonel, and is signing for the commander. Mgombea Urais kwa tiketi ya Thadwe Alliance Ekuru Aukota mekashifu tumehuru ya uchaguzi na mipaka IBC kusimamia shughuli ya kuchapisha kura za Urais kupitia kampuni ya Algorea ya Dubai bila kuwa husisha wada uote. Ekuru amesema kuwa hatua hiyo huende kathiri mani ya wa Kenya kwa tumehio. Upon sending our agent to Dubai and upon him filing a report to us, these are the observations we have made after that inspection that on the 27th July 2017, IEBC invited presidential agents and members of the press to visit al Algorea Press in Dubai to review the progress on the printing of the presidential ballot papers. The representative of Third Way Alliance Kenya observed as follows. 
Number one, by the time the observers reached the printing press at 3 p.m. on 27 July 2017, about 95%, if not more, of the printing work for the presidential battle papers had been completed and packed in various pellets ready for export to Nairobi. No agent, therefore, supervised the printing, and we could not tell for sure what, that there were no mischief. Number two, we also observed the following. There were no modalities to count or even estimate how many ballot papers had been printed already. A rough count revealed there were less than 70 constituency pellets in the warehouse when we expected at least 250 pellets if indeed 95% of the work was complete. The presidential ballot papers are packed in constituency pellets and where the constituency exits a meter in height, a second pellet is introduced. In total, therefore, there should be at least 300 pellets ready for export. The purpose of this mission was to count the ballot papers and not to see the impressive technology. Na mtukielekea katika taarifa ambayo inahusiana na masuala ya usalama katika kipindi hiki cha uchaguzi ni kwamba mwenyekiti wa huduma za polisi Johnston Kavuludi amewahakikishia wa Kenya kuwa usalama ushwari tunapoelekea katika uchaguzi na hata baada ya uchaguzi. Kulingana na Kavuludi kila kitu kishwari na kuwa wa Kenya wasingiwe na kiwewe. Aidha aliwataka wa Kenya kudumisha amani wakati huu ambapo joto la siasa linaonekana kupanda. But he is confident he has prepared well. His officers are well equipped, not prepared so that they trample on the voter, but prepared to make the voter feel safe and secure as they cast their votes. And the safety of materials, all of it has been considered. And as a Kenyan, and from where I sit within the commission, we are satisfied that the National Police Service leadership has done the best thing that can ever happen in ensuring we are safe, secure, and the elections will be managed by officers doing their duties as security officers without fear, favor, or discrimination. Mkenya mmoja amekata rufaa akitaka seneta wa sasa wa Mombasa Hassan Omar kutowania ugavana kaunti hiyo kutokana na kwamba hajajiuzulu kwenye kiti chake cha useneta. Kulingana na wakili Jesse Odwar anayemwakilisha mlalamishi huyo kipengee 180 cha katiba cha kushiriki uchaguzini afisa wa serikali anapaswa kujiuzulu kabla ya kuwania kiti cha ugavana. Kesi hiyo itaanza kusikizwa Jumatatu tarehe 31 Julai. This is uh, uh, contrary to Article 180, subsection 2 of the Constitution of Kenya, in which it stipulates the qualifications of a candidate for gubernatorial seat. The second person we are suing is uh, the IBC, the Independent Electoral and Boundary Commissions, for violating the law by not adhering to the constitutional provisions before clearing the candidates uh, that we have mentioned to vie for the gubernatorial seat. And this is just not limited to the two candidates that we have sued today, but it cuts across all sitting members of parliament and all sitting members of the Senate. Senate, that is our Senate and the National Assembly that constitute parliament, who did not resign before being cleared and contesting for gubernatorial seat in the upcoming general elections. The constitution clearly states that uh, for one to vie for gubernatorial seat, they have to qualify to be a member of county assembly. And further, it goes ahead and say that state officers are not qualified to vie for gubernatorial seat. The wording of state officers includes members of national assembly and members of senate that constitute parliament. And therefore, by failure of the current sitting members of parliament, Failure to resign makes them still sitting members of parliament and therefore they are disqualified from vying for the said seat.
Tumehuru ya mipaka na uchaguzi IBC mepuzi liambali madai kwamba kuna maafisa wa jeshi wanaopokea mafunzo wakijitayarisha kwa uchaguzi mkuu katika muda wa siku kumizijazo. Mwenye kitu wa IBC wafula chebukati na afisa mkuu mtendaji Ezra Chiloba walienda mkutano maalum na wanahabari kwenye ukumbi wa Bomas mapema hileo ilikuwa pa wa Kenya taswira ya mipangilio iliopo kwa uchaguzi mkuu kutoka pombeo zote za jamhuri. Ukumbi wa Bomas umetengwa kwa shoholi maalum za tume ya uchaguzi IBC kwenye uchaguzi huo utakaofanyika tarehe nani mwezi Agosti. To what they are saying, they were there in Dubai with my commissioners, with our staff, with other stakeholders who are present and I, I don't know what exactly they mean by saying that they found ballots have already been printed. Of course they are already printed because we commenced on Thursday but for now, I just want to say that the Commission is very transparent. We have printed 19 million, 0.6 million ballot papers for presidential candidates, plus 1%. Na ni kwa husiana na taarifa hiyo ambayo inaambatana na matayarisho ya IBC ambapo pia tunakushirikisha katika sehemu yetu ya darubini ya siasa hii leo ambapo tunakuuliza una swali lolote kwa IBC kuhusiana na uchaguzi mkuu hasa ikizingatiwa kwamba zimesalia siku kumi kabla ya wewe kuingia debeni je una swali lolote unatashwishi una wasiwasi wowote je kuna kitu ambacho ungependa kifafanuliwe uh, kabla ya wewe kuwasili katika kituo cha kura siku ya uh, tarehe nane mwezi Agosti tutakuwa tukikupeleka hatua baada ya ingine kuhusu kile ambacho unatarajia uh, kukifanya ama unatarajiwa kukifanya lakini wewe binafsi una swali lolote tuelekeze maswali hayo muda uso kwa mrefu tunaingia katika sehemu yetu ya darubini ya siasa lakini tukiwa bado katika masuala ya uchaguzi kongamano la maaskofu wa kanisa la katoliki sasa umetangaza maombi rasmi ya siku tisa kwa minajili ya kanisa la katoliki almaarufu kama novina wanayosema yananuea kuombea amani kabla ya uchaguzi wa tarehe nane. wakiongozwa na Philip Anyolo maaskofu hao wamezitaka taasisi za umma sawa na zile za kibinafsi kunumisha hali ya uh, juu ya maadili humo nchini kufikia uchaguzi huru na wa haki wamesema wataanza maombi hayo tarehe 30 mwezi huu hadi tarehe 7 mwezi agosti we note with appreciation the relatively peaceful manner in which campaigns have been conducted we urge all the candidates to continue conducting themselves with decorum and sobriety in the man in the remaining stretch of the campaigns in order to achieve cohesion and national integration. We appeal to the youth to restrain themselves from violent violence and instead be the agents of peace. I would like to make an appeal to the uh, uh, voters. Just to know that, well, the voting, time of our voting is not a formality. But it is a commitment in uh, um, playing a very special role for the good of this country. And so let it not be a formality, but let it be an existential involvement, you know, that when you are doing it, you are doing it in order to determine the destiny. nyingine kuhusiana na kile kinachohitajika kutoka kwako maafisa wa IBC wako hapa studioni kutufunza jinsi ambavyo tutakuwa tukishiriki uchaguzi mkuu ni nini ambacho kinahitajika nini ambacho unastahili kubeba unapoenda kwenye kituo cha uchaguzi maboksi haya yatakuwa yamepangwa vipi ni kura ipi ambayo itatangazwa kwanza maswali hayo yote tutakuwa tukiangazia muda sio kwa mrefu katika sehemu yetu ya darubini ya siasa tunajiandaa na wewe pia jiandae na maswali kwa sababu leo ni siku yako hatutaki uwe na wasiwasi siku ambayo utakuwa ukiingia uchaguzi Usiende mbali.